Welcome back. For millions of people, the Rose Parade is a New Year's Day tradition. More than 40 floats covered in an assortment of flowers gliding down the parade route on Colorado Boulevard every year. As News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez reports, for 75 years, Cal Poly students have made it a tradition to build a float for the parade. With a dab of glue and some flower petals, more than a thousand Cal Poly students from both the San Luis Obispo and Pomona universities are preparing for the upcoming New Year's Day Rose Parade in Pasadena. To me, it's the one team built that. We might be two schools apart, separated by however much distance, but we're one team forging a pathway to New Year's Day. A yellow electric eel and a purple stingray are some of the characters featured on Cal Poly's shock and roll float, powering the electric current. This year's parade theme is celebrating a world of music. 10,000 donated Gerbera daisies from the Central Coast will be placed on the float. More than 24,000 purple statusy flowers will cover the electric stingray. So we put like little Easter eggs everywhere. Um, the guitars are referenced to a, a float called Far Out Frequencies from, from a few years ago that was also music themed. And there's also a little 75 on the record that's inside the clamshell. There's a record in there on a turntable. It has a little 75 in there. Cal Poly's Rose Float is the only float in the parade that is designed, built, and driven by students. Current and past Cal Poly students from both campuses have made it a tradition to work on the flow every year. It's generations and generations of people who are just pouring in to this program. And that type of support and community, I think it's just one of the most special things I've ever had the chance of experiencing. Reporting from Pasadena, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez.